Hello everybody, welcome back to a brand new video. Now today I'm going to be showing you a brand new method to getting the FPS unlocker to work in Roblox. So if you are brand new, leave a like and subscribe, that'd be greatly appreciated. Anyways, let's get straight into it. Alrighty, so first you need to get to your versions folder, which if you do not know how to get to, all you have to do is hit Windows key R and then you have to type in percentage app data percentage. Then you just hit enter and it'll open up the roaming folder. Um, you can go back to app data up here, click on this, then go to local, and then you're going to want to search for Roblox in here. Then once you're in there, you're going to want to go to versions, and then there's going to be two different versions in here. One of them is going to be your Roblox Studio, if you have the Roblox Studio installed, and the other one is going to be your Roblox. So your folder should look something like this. It should have the Roblox player beta, Roblox launcher, content, extra content, platform content. If your folder does not look like that and looks like this, where it has like all these API stuff and DLLs. This is not the right folder. So make sure you're in the correct folder. That looks pr pretty much like this. Um, then from here, you're going to hit new and you're gonna hit folder. And then you're gonna call this folder client settings. And you gotta make sure you type it right. I don't think capitals matter, they might. Once you create that folder, you open it and then you hit new and you're gonna do text document. And you're gonna call it client app settings. And you can leave this as a text file for now because that's fine. So once you open up your client app settings.txt file, uh, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to type this in. Uh, I'll leave it in the description below so you can copy and paste it in. But uh, what this does here is the alt enter. This just reduces input lag and stuff. Um, but this one right here is the main setting for uh, the FPS unlocker. So you can set this to whatever you want. Um, if you have a powerful enough computer, it'll be able to hit those that frame rate that you, know, you select. Um, if not, it won't quite hit it, but it will still unlock it. But so you could literally set this to a thousand. My PC, it's beefy, but it's not strong enough to hit a thousand FPS on Roblox, even with the whole 64 bit new update. But yeah, once you have that in, you're gonna wanna close it. Then you can come here to um, your view right here. And then you're gonna wanna come over here and click on the file name extensions. If you don't have that already, it should be checked. Um, from there, it'll show you the .txt. Then you're going to hit rename, and then you're going to click, and then go type JSON, uh, J-S-O-N. And then it'll warn you this, and like blah, blah, blah. But uh, yeah, after you do that, you should be set, ready to go. Now, if you do want to check the version of Roblox that you are running, if it is 64-bit or 32-bit, you can type uh, the link that I post in the description below, and uh, it'll send you to this, which will tell you whether it's 64-bit uh, or not. If it says live here instead of Zwin player 64, that means you're not on the 64-bit quite yet. You're still stuck on the 32. But as you can see, I'm on the 64-bit, and if I go boot up Arsenal real quick, you can see that I am getting like 400, 500 FPS. Also, I don't remember this map being in public servers. What the heck, bro? Why, why, why am I in this map? Well, today, that is the best method for the FPS unlocker. Uh, I believe uh, Austin's FPS unlocker doesn't work anymore. And I don't know if he's going to ever update it again since this is just like the better option. Like you don't have to worry about like a virus or anti-cheat or anything. Like this is literally something that you can literally just go do and you won't get banned because it's it's part of Roblox now, which is really cool. But uh, yeah, if you did find this helpful and if you did enjoy, leave a like and subscribe. That'd be greatly appreciated. But I will see you all later. So have a good night. Peace.